Ikea. Oh, Ikea. I'm gonna get a couple of them. I think they look lovely. Look at that hair. Oh. <laughs> Only brownie recipe you ever need. Hello everyone, how are we all? I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel and to a weekend vlog. I hope you're all doing grand. It's March, which is a new month. I'm, I'm kind of here for the start of spring. We're in the car. Obviously I'm not driving. Um, Zara's driving. Uh, we've got a little coffee in, in situ because we're off to Ikea, the wonderful everyday. I don't think you will ever say Ikea without saying oh I Ikea I just say that the theme of this video is oh we, we also are, aren't wearing matching outfits for we're any other dressed reason. identically we have white trainers black slim I've got leggings he's got trousers a black jumper and a, and a black <laughs> we just walked Maggie this morning we took her on a lovely walk with our friend Sherry who's got a miniature cockapoo called Olive so she's ran and ran and ran so she's snoozing back at the flat so we nipped to Ikea while she's asleep um, Ikea. Ikea? Oh, Ikea. It's actually Swedish, so it's Ikea. Okay, well, neither of us are Swedish. I look <laughs> Swedish. <laughs> Sorry, long intro, yeah. Basically, a couple of vlogs back, I got a little movable kitchen trolley, and it's brilliant, uh, but for hot recipes, what I film, you can get a little induction hob. I think they're about 20 pounds, so you can pop them on a surface, plug it in, and you've essentially got a hot stove effectively like an induction stove so it's just going to make filming so much easier also a lot of people did say why have you bought um a trolley like you'll be moving soon that kind of thing obviously it's such a good thing to have if we do buy something that's like a renovation project which is what we ideally would love we might not have a kitchen for months so having a chopping space and a little induction hob actually we'll be thanking our lucky stars because i've watched renovation vlogs where people have done their dishes in baths and have lived off, yeah, lived off That's microwave. Dirty. Well, yeah, but it's just a big sink, isn't it? If you haven't got a sink. Oh, I would not have a bath. Well, yeah, but then they do um, like microwave meals and just, yeah. So anyway, sorry, big old rambles. That's why I go on trek here. We also need to do a little trip to B&M just to stock up on some household bits. Need biscuits. To bisc <laughs> biscuits, sponges, um, that kind of thing. Biscuits. Biscuits. The B&M do the best biscuits. Yeah, so bloody good. Some uh, tea bags. Tea ba <laughs> I've introduced Zara to the Waitrose Dutchie tea bags and she loves them and also to get some ingredients because they're going to make some mini egg uh, brownies because it's it's March, which means it's mini Easter. So anyway, um, I'll catch you guys when we were in, sorry, when we go into Ikea. I've just seen one of the new rooms in Ikea. I very much enjoy this wall colour. It's kind of similar to what we used to have in our living room, to be honest, but this setup is lovely very very nice the kitchen isn't really to our taste but we're just saying we really like how it's like open plan kitchen living space it's something we've always enjoyed very social way to cook this is ideally something that i would love to have like an open plan kitchen pantry style yeah this is the goal <laughs> so this is the um appliance it's a till radar um so you basically just plug it in and you can move it around and it's got a little hook as well so you can hang it up if you've got a space but um yeah, it's just gonna make cooking videos brilliant. And it's 40% less than glass ceramic hops. It's the equivalent of 73 less hours a year I spend cooking. Brilliant. So I'm in cookware heaven. Um, we've just been looking at a new frying pan. We had a paella pan and um, it just, it's just gone. But I've never actually had anything from Ikea, but I've heard good things. So I've just picked up one. It was 19 pounds. I was tempted to buy this one, but I do have a quite a nice frying pan from Smeg already. So I've gone for just a standard saute pan. This was 19. I really like these cups. They're one pound fifty. They're the mugs, clear glass with a rib. I think they're really nice. I'm gonna get a couple of them. I think they look lovely. They look more expensive than they are. We're stocking up on some of the IKEA 365 um, storage containers. We're getting a smaller one this time as well. That might be quite good for lunches too. Yeah, that's true actually. They're just so good. You can just bang them straight in the oven. They're genius. Are they two pound fifty as well? It's not too bad, you can get different fitting lids for them. You can get the wood ones. Or we just. Oh, lovely. And we just get the plastic lid ones. But yeah, you can get the bamboo ones if you'd like. Just saw these mugs as well. These are three pounds. They've got them in like a nice blue colour too. Zara said we don't need any more mugs, even though I've just put those glass ones in the bag. They are very nice though. I also very much enjoy this jug. It's a really nice colour. Twelve pounds, that's not bad. I saw this print, this vegetable garden. It's actually really nice. 
quite enjoy that. It's, it's 29 pounds, it's not too bad with the frame. That was a relatively quick trip in Ikea, straight in, straight out. It's like 25 minutes, if that. Really? Yeah, we got That's here good. at half 11. Oh, it's an hour. Oh, now we're flying. It's a time warp. You go into Ikea and the time just flies. Anyway, um, I'll show you the bits and bobs that we've got. Nothing relatively exciting. Um, but we're going to be naughty and treat ourselves to a cheeky little McDonald's. We don't do it very often, but when we do do it, we enjoy it. It's always here. Yeah, it's it is. It is. It's post Ikea. And then we need to nip it into now because Zara needs a new light bulb. And I'm going to see if they have any soup bowl plates. Which are hard to describe, but it's basically a plate and a ball in one. We're back from Ikea and we feel bad whenever we go out and don't get Mikey something. So this is her new toy, which she's running away from us. Yeah, she has to. Yeah. It's like, come on, let's have the inauguration. Let's just meet, let's meet the gang. Mikey, is that your oh, new toy? You're so lucky. <laughs> is that your new toy? Thanks, oh, mom. Up. Thanks, dad. Ready? <laughs> Oh, good girl! So just popped to the grocery shop after we were in Ikea. <laughs> Got a giant bag of mini eggs. This contains 10, approximately 10 bags of mini eggs. They're not gonna last two minutes. Zara's got a new found love for the Waitrose Dutchy tea bags. So we bought some more of those. And yeah, just some bits and bobs. Oh, actually, got some new balls in um, the range. We also popped into the range after IQ because it's right next to it. Super balls, something I've never really known I needed until I was doing a job recently and I thought they would be perfect. So I picked up two of those. Oh, actually, and I'll show you the bits that I got in Ikea. So yeah, not a massive amount in Ikea. Um, this also was from the range. It's Maggie's birthday in May, so we thought we'd get something fun to um, to make when it's her birthday. So this is a doggy treat bacon kit. So it makes some dog biscuits. So what I thought would be nice is if we could get some peanut butter and sandwich them together to make like little doggy macaroons. And there's a little bone cutter in there as well. I just thought that was really cute. This is primarily the reason we went to Ikea. So this is the little induction hub. So this is gonna make cooking so good. I don't really uh, prefer gas to induction, but obviously this is gonna be perfect for filming. And then this is the saute pan with the lid. So this is really good value, it's stainless steel, and it has a hook as well, so it'd be handy to hang up if we ever do need to do that. <laughs> um, I feel like Ikea think of all of the things for storage and practicality. So yeah, that was 19 pounds. And then we just picked up some more of the containers. There is a lid for this, I'm not sure where it is. There we go, that's the lid. And then I just picked up a little Febreze air plug-in, some laundry pod things, and these little glasses, which I just thought was so nice. They were £1.50 each. I just think they look really nice. They're quite expensive. Lovely for little espressos, or lattes, that kind of thing. So, yeah. <laughs> we did get quite a few biscuits. We've got some of these. Oh, if you've never had these, these are the chocolate Leb Lebniz biscuits. They're so good. And we also got some Oxford's Golden Crunch Creams. Tea and biscuits, just, it's, it's our weakness. Okay, so we're just about to make some brownies. This recipe is from the Waitrose March magazine. I mean, how good do these look? These are chai spice uh, blondies. So I was not really keen on chai. However, these look really good. These are the ultimate fudge brownies. The description is, this could be the only brownie recipe you ever need. Heavy on the chocolate with an extra yolk for added richness. So we're gonna make these. I thought it'd be good to try out this new device. So we actually need to um, melt some Butter and chocolate together. So fingers crossed, <laughs> these work on induction. They're from Denby, I'm pretty sure they do. So while the brownies are in the oven, they've got about 15 minutes left. We're gonna start House of Gucci. It only came out last year, but it's available to rent. So we're gonna watch that. It's got Lady Gaga in and Al Pacino and someone else. I can't remember the name. It's the one from The Serpent. Do you remember when we watched The Serpent on BBC? Oh, uh, mm -hmm. that was long. It was long. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, so we're gonna watch How's Gucci. How, 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 how is it Gucci? Um, I'm very excited. It's about two and a half hours. It's quite a long film. Oh, I have such a short attention span when it comes to films. <laughs> if I was doing anything else for two and a half hours, You'd have my undivided attention. Yeah, I know. Two and a half hours at a screen. Well, we can watch, like, say, half an hour and then check on the brownies, make a start on dinner, watch another half hour. Pour a glass of Prosecco. Pour a glass of Prosecco and then we can watch the rest of the evening. Look at that hair. Oh. Whoa! See my little spikes? Like my I, that's what I was looking at earlier. So we've 
Paul's House of Gucci. It's so good. Sorry I'm leaning down and I've got dinner on the go here. We were going to make a curry this evening, but we were sat. House of Gucci is based in Italy and we're just romanticizing our life as Italians and we really miss Milan. It was a week ago today we were in Milan. And, I ate and my cousin's currently there. Yes, Sarah's cousin's currently in Milan, living our dream. Um, and I had a lovely risotto this time last week, so we're making a risotto. We had some butternut squash in the freezer, so we're doing a very, very simple risotto. Um, we didn't have a white onion, so I'm doing a red one. But we've put loads of garlic in it, and it's going to be like a lovely chili butternut squash with lots of granadano and some prosecco because we didn't have any white wine. It's a very spontaneous risotto, um, so I had to use the prosecco that I was drinking to cook with. I often like to cook with wine. Sometimes I even use it in my food. And I love that quote. <laughs> I'm using my new saute pan from Ikea and it's brilliant. It's very, very nice. It's quite non-stick as well, which is fab. The thing is with the risotto, you just have to just stand and stir it. So it's a, it's a lengthy process, but the end result is gorgeous. So we finished dinner, which was absolutely delicious. And we've got about 50 minutes left of House of Gucci. It is so good. Lady Gaga is phenomenal. Anyway, brownies baked, and we're about to try some. Very fudgy. To put mini eggs in them, I will leave the recipe link down below. Oh my god. Oh my lord. The recipe had an extra egg yolk in it, and 300 grams of dark chocolate. Oh, they're good. Good morning. Good morning. It is quite early this morning and it's bright. How nice is that the sun is just behind me. It's like it's like 7.30 this morning, isn't it? Good morning. <laughs> just with Maggie. <laughs> um, out for her morning walk. Zara's getting ready because she's um, got her friends coming into town. So uh, she's getting ready and gonna meet him quite early. It's very fresh this morning, hence the hat and hoodie and thick coat. But I thought I'd make the most of this gorgeous weather and take Maggie out while it's quiet and while it's calm. Right, so I'm back from the dog walk and I feel like we need to do a bit of a flat clean, just like a bit more of a deep clean. Obviously we clean as we go weekly, but something a bit more thorough. Um, I'm seeing Batman at midday, so I've got two hours to just blitz the kitchen. I really want to give it like a nice thorough clean, do some hoovering, do some dusting, do some laundry. Just, I feel like if I do that on a Sunday, I start the week in like a much fresher headset. So I'm, yeah, gonna go cracking now. So I've just made myself a lovely coffee in the new IKEA mugs that I got yesterday. Very, very happy with those. And the kitchen is spotless. Everything is gleaming. I've fully deep cleaned, cleaned all the tiles, polished all the chrome. It took me the best part, say about an hour and a half it took me, but everything is beautifully clean, very happy. Cleaned all the microwave, give that a steam. I just need to pop those balls away. And in there is the brownies that we made yesterday. I'm gonna enjoy my coffee, have a quick catch up on Instagram and watch some YouTube bits and bobs. And then I've got the cinema at midday. I'm all showered and dressed. I'm wearing very colorful outfits this weekend, but I'm literally living in hoodies and jogging bottoms, especially because I've read online this film is three hours long. I'm not even joking. So, hence why I'm wearing comfies. I'll leave my vlog camera here because obviously I can't really film much, but I'll catch up with you guys when I'm back. Okay, so I'm back from the cinema. Gosh, look at my hat hair. <laughs> I left it a bit um, a bit too close to the wire before the film started, or so I thought. So I just quickly had a shower, popped a cap on, and ran to the cinema, um, but they were like half an hour delayed starting the film, which I've never had before, which was just a bit weird. Anyway, it was a three hour film. This might be a bit of a controversial opinion. I didn't really love it. 
I'm not gonna lie, any Batman fans out there, I'm a huge Batman DC fan, didn't really love it. I'm not gonna lie, and it's got such good reviews, and I was really hoping I was gonna love it, but I don't know, it just felt like, it just felt a bit, I, I know it's different, and I think because I loved the previous Batmans with Christian Bale and Heath Ledger, and it, it, just honestly, my favorite Batmans, but then even before that, Jack Nicholson, when he was the Joker, it just felt a bit bleak, which I know Batman is. I know they were trying to do something different, but it just, I, I, I didn't hate it, I didn't really love it. Zara's back from in town. She went to Italy um, and got some orancetti. Um, orancetti, I think that's how you say orange, orancetti, orancetti. This is the Dediziaro gran, Granaro, Granoro. Um, it's just basically lovely pasta. She also got these mugs for two pounds. <laughs> We really are getting quite a substantial mug collection. And uh, these were reduced from four pounds. They've got a lovely like blue glaze on. Just had a cup of tea out of them. Hence why I've got tea in them. And let me show you the flowers you got from Columbia Road Flower Market. How lovely are these? They've got some gypsophilia and I'm not really sure what you'd call this one, but it's very nice. They were five pounds for the bunch and I think it just looks very, very lovely. Just a nice little spring offering in the living room. Good morning. Classic me, Luke. I fell asleep last night <laughs> and then I woke up and I was like, have I just, I think I slept for like two hours. I don't know why, I was just so tired. Anyway, um, we actually watched something on Channel 5 in the UK, so I'm not really sure if you can watch this in the US, but maybe you might be able to. It's based on this book, so it's called The Holiday by T.M. Logan, and they've made it into, I think it's a five-part series on channel five it's brilliant it's so good zara's read the book i haven't read this book i'm a bit reluctant to read it now that i've seen the series but i think i would like to read it to see how the two compare but this is so good it's kind of like it's oh, i don't want to give too much away but it's basically a family like three families go to a villa in malta and um it's just some pretty bad stuff happens, basically. Um, lots of feuds, lots of anger. So if that's not your vibe, probably give it a pause or a miss until you're in the mood for that kind of thing. It's very good, and Zara said the book's brilliant, so um, yeah. I need to um, I need to read this. But anyway, I thought I'd just end this vlog because I didn't last night. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this one. This week's actually lovely. My mum's coming to London on Thursday to celebrate her birthday, so I'll be vlogging some bits and bobs of what we get up to. I'm sure she'll she's very excited. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Love to you all. Take care. Stay safe, and I'll catch you all very soon in a future video. Bye for now.